over here wearing the number 10 shirt. Right hand side of your picture. Monaco have won this uh, competition four times before, but the last was back in 2000 under Claude Puel. Today, Leonardo Jardim without the services of the young Jordi Mbula having uh, some fitness issues. Now making his start in French football while Yuri Tillemann signed from Anderlecht. Man's the middle. He was dispossessed. This is Tillemans. Thomas Lemar does get it in, but the flag is up against Kylian Mbappe. Oh. It will not count. No one count, but how about that little move from Mbappe? The way he opened up his hips was telling. Right in front of the assistant. Mbappe Lotta gets the foul off David Luiz. He stopped Shrug at the shoulders. He stopped in his tracks. Great skill, and you can see Luiz just throws that right arm across him. He's not going to pass. Next fan old man. Congolo. Oh. Tripped up was uh, Kylian Mbappe. Asking for the yellow card. Oh, Jafari not interested. And that's a smart foul. Ross that Mbappe would have been off. That first touch from Mbappe knows that the pressure is coming, so he's just able to dink it past the defender. Dink it past the defender. And that's when he gets taken down. Congolo to Mbappe. Tries to split two defenders. Kylian Mbappe. He just grazed the hand of Verratti. Oh, nine league goals as well. And there's been a different player to the one we saw at Manchester United last season. Just seems to have so much confidence, quality of pass. I just think the positions that he takes up in this particular team makes him so effective. It's the, uh, the new boy, Jemerson, playing him on there. Mbappe working against Mounier. Or to limit the spaces, especially in between the lines, and make life very difficult for PSG as they go into the final third. Here's Mbappe against the world. Some help from Falcao. And Rabiot whistled for the handball. Something different about Mbappe is growing right in front of our eyes. I'm telling you, the player he was last season, as brilliant as he was, Seems like he's really added a thing or two to his game. Here's another thing or two from Mbappe. Cuts inside. Oh. Mbappe is denied by Marquinhos. Underrated presence of uh, Thiago Mota in midfield. You alluded to it earlier, but the ball always seems to leave him better than it arrived. It's a difficult ball about chest high a moment ago, and he touched it right onto a teammate's foot. That's, that's a great point, Andres. It's just to help that in behind the defense. Mbappe into Fabinho, just opened up for a moment, and not the man. Could easily got that wrong and given away a penalty. Here's Mbappe. Oh, he's done really well. Just see the cross comes in, and Lamar just completely miskicks it. Actually, knocks it against Marquinhos, and the ricochet trap had to be alert to drop on on that uh, ricochet, but before obviously West Ham depart for the Olympic Stadium. What a final season they're giving them there. From Thiago Motta on in this place, that one. Here's Fabinho. Mbappe. He's already put in one absolutely wonderful cross. This one's not so great, but it's still nearly found its target. Cavalier makes sure it doesn't find either of them. Power that's needed to beat Trap. He's mistake from David Luiz. And how's the cross? Well, it's not a cross. There's an option on here. No, the flag's up. And Mbappe it won't count. Decent stop from Trap, though. Who couldn't be sure. In scorching conditions against Juventus. And that game didn't really feel like a friendly, trust me. Mbappe passed one man. Sprinting away from Verratti. Finds Siribe, but the offside flag is up. From Monaco again with Mbappe in the middle. And Sidibe alongside Mbappe cuts to his left. Still Mbappe taken down. The challenge from Marquinhos. No foul says Al Jafari. And Mbappe is slow to get up. Brings his arms up, commits the foul.
nifty movements there from Bappe. And then you see the little touch there as uh, Marquinhos got the studs on his... Around the Champions League legs with Chelsea, they obviously changed a few players. That's when they lost to Lyon. They had a couple of nil-nil games in that time, actually. So they've not been perfect, but not bad, you know. Here's Maxwell. Bappe. It's almost squeezed through for Lamar himself there. Would, in some case, sort of justifiably wonder whether PSG have really got much in the tank. I don't know where David Luiz has gone this time either. It's another good chance with Lamar tacking in. And Kevin Trapp's having a shout at his back four. Well, he just wants some urgency about the way that they're going to defend. Luiz completely dragged out of position by Love. And was Bappe was in a battle with Marquinhos, the Brazilian, beats the Colombia. This is something that's a real luxury for giving away to Mbappe, who's got Falcao in support. This is Thomas Lamar. Bakayoko, that's well done. Now, speaking of moving it quickly, we've got three on three here. Mbappe's gone for glory, and the deflection could have taken it anywhere. As it is, it's a corner. Yeah, Thiago Silva in the end gets the block, but Trapp's going away to his right for just a split second. It looked like it might loop up into the back of the net. First time, really, that they broke with pace, Monaco. End up. Mbappe again, nicely done. Back of Yoktaf, now some good last-ditch brave defending going on. Carvalho and Elderson chucking themselves in the way of things. Very high this time last year, wasn't it? Who's taking Monaco to the latter stages of the Champions League, surprising a fair few people there, Arsenal included. Looks like uh, Supersic is okay, and also we're going to see Mbappe leave the field to be replaced by Helder Costa, the low knee from Benfica. There he is.